I'm here at the Lug Street Habitat Group that is newly formed and is at Red Hill. Today, this is public enemy number one, the red coral berry, and this is what we'll be trying to remove. This introduced plant species smothers the native species in shade and also sucks the nutrients from the soil. This means they kill off all of our native species, thereby they don't grow into large trees. There are some beautiful native species growing here. You've got lots of different types of figs, palm trees, and you've got a few tuckaroos. So these are making a lovely canopy and shading the ground for, sh for ground covering shady plants like lamandra and other sorts of ground covering mint brush and other sorts of things like that. Ground covers and large trees are so important for holding back sediment in our waterways and is one of the reasons why this waterway is so clean at the moment. It's probably because of all of this ground cover growing rampant and covering the ground and stopping the sediment from flowing away. Meanwhile, if this was just bare dirt, the rain would come and it would scrape away all the dirt and it would go down into the waterways, turning into sediment that then goes out into the bay and then the coral sea beyond. Sediment smothers aquatic plants and lowers oxygen levels. This, this eventually kills our native fish species and other aquatic animals because they take in the ox dissolved oxygen around them which is usually given to them by the aquatic weeds. Yeah, Coral know. berry is the cane toad of, our, of plants. So let's try to see how many we can collect. Yeah. And, um, yeah, like it's a really great, it's a really great opportunity to actually get out and do it rather than just with someone who goes. I think we should do that. This pile can now be spread on the ground because it's not on berry, so we can spread it on the ground and leave it to die and become more mulch for our native animals and plants to feed off. And this is turning this horrible pest into a useful thing that is good for our land. So that's all going to be mulch fertilizer, a lot like how you throw lawn, lawn clippings in a pile in your garden after you do mowing. In these bags here, these are the red coral berry plants, which are in berry. Each berry contains a seed, which, if left on the ground, would become the next crop of these invasive plants. These will have to go in the bin. Here, in amongst the foliage, you can see all sorts of things. Right here is a Fraser's banded snail shell. This is of the snail species Sparophosera fraserii. Bushland care around our urban waterways is extremely important. But even these little creeks running through our urban areas are very important to the wider ecosystem that we find around most parts of Australia. Our creeks are the lifeblood of our ecosystems and wildlife, and we can't live without them. We were very successful today, and, and I recommend that you go onto Facebook and look at the Lug Street Habitat Group on their Facebook page and join the next event which is in a few weeks.